Sure. <laughs> Greetings and good evening. I'm not blocking you. Yes, he's not blocking me. I am Dr. Wolf. And this is Derek Dragon. Hi, everybody. And this is Miss Lightning Bliss. Or should I say Mrs. Lightning Bliss? Because Mrs. Uh, <laughs> she is married after all. Your husband, Sub Zero, is right behind the camera over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and for some reason, he doesn't want to be on camera. Uh, he's not. He's not someone who wants to be the center of attention. Mm. And that's okay. I'll respect that. My lady is much the same way. So, you might be asking yourself, where exactly are we right now? We, we seem to be at a bit of an odd location. Well, actually, I think it's a rather nice location. Well, it is a nice location, but it's certainly out of the ordinary well, for us. You have to give us that. Yes. <laughs> uh, from one of our previous videos, you may have heard that... Uh, we are actually on vacation right now, on a giant cruise ship. And right now it's off the coast of somewhere called Rotan. Honduras. Uh, yes, part of Honduras. Or if you're speaking proper Spanish, it's Honduras. Honduras, yes. right. This is a Spanish speaker of our group, by the way. Yes. I have to translate for everybody. Yes. <laughs> you haven't had to translate anything yet, though. Oh, we will. No, we'll get there. We'll prob we'll get we probably there. will. This is, what, day four of our trip? Technically, yes. Yeah. But, yeah. So we thought we'd throw together a vlog talking about all the things we've done thus far because more than likely there are quite a few of you out there who are curious as to what we're up to. So, day one, Sunday, uh, we are driving from... <laughs> We, we, we left the convention, Nightmare Nights. You we see did. her reaction already. Yes. <laughs> um, at, uh, you know, in the, early, in the morning of, uh, of Sunday, and we were driving down to uh, Galveston so that we could get on the cruise. And, um, and Bliss and her husband were behind us pretty much the whole way. They, we wanted to make sure we stayed together so we didn't lose each other. And uh, we were about 45 minutes out of Galveston when I looked in the rearview mirror and Bliss was gone. And I said, I said, Bliss is gone. And then Dr. Wolf looked back and saw another car. He said, no, she's right there. No, I think, I think that's Bliss right there. Yeah. I, I, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's far away, but yeah, it looks like her. And then Mrs. Wolf looked back and said, yeah, that's her. Yeah. And then I looked in the rearview mirror. I said, no, that's not her. So after a few minutes of that, we were like, okay, yeah, that's not Blissy. Where is Blissy? <laughs> oh, and then we got a panicked text from Lightning Bliss saying, yes. <laughs> well, are, you, are you, is there a big red Tahoe behind you? And, and I looked and I said, uh, no, there no. isn't. <laughs> so they were, they, they were off somewhere, who knows where. So we had to stop by the side of the road, get on the phone with Lightning and her husband, figure out where they were and then see if we could find where they were and it, what that took another 30 minutes or yeah. something I give or take yeah. <laughs> it was an unintentional detour and everything worked out just fine but still we're, we're sorry that we kind of stressed you out for a no while. I, I want to point out my husband was driving oh, okay. okay um secondly it was no one's fault on this party it was just Houston is notorious for having rude drivers and that red tahoe was responsible for us getting cut off oh yeah they this big red tahoe covered this little smart car's view and we were unable to see where they all went and we missed our exit or we ended up going off the wrong exit there was, yeah, there was a turn off that you weren't supposed to take that you ended up taking i think yeah. that's what happened yeah. yeah and that's okay that's entirely okay we made it on time mm -hmm. Unfortunately, a couple of Tarek's friends who were expecting us didn't get to spend time with us, but we're going to be spending time with them after we get back. Yeah. Yep. So, Kath, Shrag, if you guys are watching this, yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll see you on Sunday. Yeah. This is probably going to come out after we go. Oh, back. yeah, that's true. Okay. Probably going to get out. Yeah. You see, when we're on this cruise ship, we don't get internet unless we're willing to pay anywhere from fourteen to eighteen dollars a day her device that's how bad it is yeah no so we thought you know this is actually a good experience for us being cut off from the internet for a little while it's a little out of the ordinary considering this day and age i imagine there's more than a few of you out there who are thinking 
I could never go a week without internet. That would drive me nuts. We're off the grid! We're off the grid. <laughs> but isn't it lovely? <laughs> it's something that we decided to try because yeah. $18 a day for internet for one device, I don't know. I'll, I'll go with that. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Who wants to talk about day two? What happened day two? Because I can remember day two, we taught Lightning and Lars a couple of new card games. Some very, very fun card games. Mm -hmm. Did we bring them all over here? Oh, yes. Yes. This Dominion. Let me see if I can get the glare. No glare. Okay. Okay. This is a game called Dominion. And for Rob and I here, Derek and I, I should say, yeah. You used my real name. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Anyway, I'll have to remember to call him Derek because I've been calling him by his actual name throughout most of, the, most of this trip. But Lars, he said that he had been uh, invited to play that game many times but kept turning it down. So we basically sat him down and within about 20 minutes he said, I love this game. <laughs> and when the first round was over, he said, let's play it again. Again! 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 again, again. again. <laughs> so big success, big success there. Yeah. yeah. We also taught Lightning how to play. That was on day three. Yeah. And she's actually learning to enjoy the game. Yeah, it's fun. I can it's see definitely it. complex. It, it can be a little daunting for new people, but I highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. But the game that both of you have had more fun with, definitely more laughs with, is something <laughs> called It Came to Pass. Yeah. It's, and yeah, it's kind of like it's kind of like Uno, but then kind of not. Mm -hmm. And what I enjoy most about that game is watching these two bicker. Yes. We can actually bicker about the rules because a couple of the rules are uh, a little open-ended. They're, they're vague. <laughs> the, the bigger they, these two have had on day two, I am very much inspired to draw a comic about it. Oh, no. oh yes, please. Please draw a comic. If you oh, draw no. a comic, I'll turn it into a dub on my channel. I guarantee it'll be so much fun. <laughs> I'm in it's trouble. It's going to be cute. I'll tell, I'll tell you that. Okay. I'm in trouble. <laughs> yep, that's okay. <laughs> Uh, so yes, we've definitely been enjoying card games. A uh, bunch of us last night actually got to watch Finding Dory in big screen out in front of the pool area. But before we got to do that, uh, Tarek and I, we had to go downstairs and uh, ask the guest services ask yeah ask the guest services why they were playing uh sports instead of this finding dory that was on the schedule yeah yeah hmm. there were a few other passengers down there asking the same thing that they wanted to show a movie to their kids and they're getting disappointed that every night there's sports on the big screen upstairs so he actually saw that for the first time they yeah. both did oh there it is yeah, yeah. Not out there. It's yeah. out there. There okay. you go. Right there. Yeah. I think Lightning in particular, <laughs> the look on her face when she heard, Hi, I'm Sigourney Weaver. Well, I really would like to that. <laughs> that was it. See, I thought you'd like that, bless you. Yeah. <laughs> Why, Sigourney? Why are you always doing cameos now? You need to do more movies. Like, actually be on screen, you know? Well, maybe she's just reached a point where she doesn't really want to put in that kind of work. But we miss you, Sigourney. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe one of these days. One of these days. Mm -hmm. Another thing we did. Uh, this this cruise ship is amazing. Yeah. Uh, it's it's bigger than any cruise ship I've ever been on. It, this is only my third cruise. So. Yeah. Um, oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> all right. I'll, I'll I'll shut up about that. All right. Um, <clears throat> The, the 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 really cool thing about this cruise ship, you all you know, you always find a pool on a on a cruise right. ship. You always find a, a buffet. You always find a nice restaurant. You always find theater, right? This cruise ship also has um, a volleyball court and a rock climbing wall, water slides, tubing slides, uh, and it has a, a boogie boarding um, wave. I don't know what they call that. I don't know what they call it either. But yeah. He tried it. He yeah. had a lot of fun with it. Yeah. Yeah, boogie boarding, a uh, little area. It, if you look up Slur Bomb, we have it. Yeah, uh -huh. and it's it's a place where you, you can either you can either surf mm -hmm. if you're if you have a surfboard, or you can if you have a boogie board, you can get up on your knees and stuff, and it it actually rushes the water up the hill, so you feel like you're actually riding a wave. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. 
Um, but it, to see all of this on a cruise ship is just amazing. I've never seen this stuff before. So we spent the whole morning yesterday um, just playing around on the water slides and, and going boogie boarding, going swimming, and and uh, it, it was it was like going to a water park. It was great. You know, the highlight of these trips is not really the activities, not for me anyways. It's more, I get to see them having fun. I get to see them with these huge grins on their faces and they're just having a, a blast. And then I feel like, okay, I'm glad I took part and I'm, I'm glad I'm here. Because if it was just me here, I'd be miserable. I can't really have fun unless I'm seeing other people having fun. And we're grateful for that. Yeah. 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 I enjoy being with my friends. Yes. Being not us on the internet, we're being friends. Yes. You should see her face light up every time we start doing okay. Disney quoting back and forth. That's awesome. I, I end up joining in sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> We've been having a little quoting fest and even quizzing each other, saying one unique line from a Disney animated classic to see how long it would take before one of us will actually pick up on where it comes from. I've managed to stump each of them a couple of times, but about 95% of the time we've been able to pick up on it within yeah. 0.2 seconds. That's yeah. how quick we are. Yeah. And those of you out there, I just want to put this out there, uh, who enjoy that kind of activity, like movie quoting and guessing movie quotes, say so in the comments. And if you if we get enough of them, we'll put one together. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> Actually, put down a quote from a Disney... Oh, but you got to be real careful. Yeah. That's, you yeah. know... Yeah. Disney animated film that is unique to just that film and see how long it takes for people to actually pick up on where it comes from. Oh, but this is the internet. It's going to go like that. Yeah, I know. But just for fun, people enjoy looking at that. Oh, I know that movie. That's my favorite movie. It's a great conversation starter. Sure. That's the reason why I put that out there. And if we end up doing a quoting fest, yeah, I'm sure we'll end up getting a lot of good laughs out of that. We can put together a live stream if we get enough requests. And finally, I'm going to let Bliss talk about what we did today. Yes. Big event this morning. Big day. Oh, wow. Um, so we're at a very lovely island in northeast South America. Yeah, it's northeastern <laughs> South America. Yeah, say that five times fast. Northeast South America. Northeast South America. I didn't mean Northeast you. South America. Oh. <laughs> um, first of all, I've never been to South America, so another first. Neither have I. Never been on a cruise he before. He has. A long first. time ago he did. But, um, so we got up pretty early in the morning. We had a really nice breakfast together, which I, I think that's one of the more fun parts I have is when I'm with everybody and we're having meals together. But, so we get off the boat and we go for a dolphin excursion. We actually got in way steep water. Well, for me, it was almost chest high. <clears throat> Some of us are over six feet tall. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a little <laughs> tall. I'm just a little tall. And we got to see dolphins swim up real close to us, and we were able to pet them. They even did a few tricks for us, Yeah, which was really fun. I mean, I've only seen a dolphin up close once when I was in middle school. Um, my husband never got that opportunity until today. I never got to touch it this many times. <laughs> so that was an experience of a lifetime. It was a little four-year-old female, which in human years is about the equivalent of being seven. And you could tell that these dolphins wanted to play. These dolphins really wanted to play. A couple of the other dolphins kept coming in close by and wanted to get this four-year-old to come play with them. and. The little four-year-old was like, eh, eh, go away. Yeah. You could tell, I mean, she was vocalizing. You've heard yeah. dolphins vocalize before, but you could tell the the expression that she was trying to make just by the way she was vocalizing. It was really cool. Yeah. Yep. What was her name? Ellie. Yeah, Ellie. 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 So, yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed So, you know, I'm an animal lover, as many of you know. And being able to be in the water with a dolphin, being able to, to touch it, we even actually had a point where they were taking pictures, the dolphin came up to your cheek and gave you this kiss on the cheek, and, and then 
you know, I was standing with my wife and the dolphin was between us and sticking head out of the water. And it, it was great. We got some really good pictures. Maybe we can show them later. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but for, for me, it was it was a delightful experience. Yes. Yeah. Most certainly. <laughs> and again, the highlight of doing something like that is seeing people with me being so happy. Blissy in particular, she had this gigantic grin on her face, but I could tell she was feeling a little out of sorts, like, what do I do? What do I do? This is so much fun. Oh, I don't know what to do, though. <laughs> and then seeing my lady, my lady was in heaven, because also on this little island where we went to go visit uh, these dolphins, they had several cats running around so she would pet the cats on land and then she would pet the dolphins out in sea and then she'd come back and pet the cats on land and she was just that's what she loves to do is spending time with animals if she, she took like six dozen pictures this morning i'm sure if it's possible she's even more of an animal lover than i am oh yes i've said before that she is in many ways a, a almost perfect match for fluttershy's personality and they can tell you that. Yeah. 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 So, um, so here it is, day three. Uh, sorry, day, day four, four. Day Wednesday. Four. This is a Wednesday. And uh, what is it? What, about two in the afternoon? Roughly. Yeah. And so we don't know what we have planned for this evening. Well, we're going to play cards. How yeah. much you want to bet we're going to play lots and lots of cards? He loves to play cards. He was actually showing uh, Blissey and Sub-Zero some magic tricks earlier. <laughs> magic tricks he, that I already know the answers to, how, how they work, but you should have seen the look on their faces. <laughs> how did you do that? <laughs> and even he was tell. able to do it. He's he wasn't even doing it. the trick. He's having fun with this. Yes, indeed. At but, one point, he, you messed up a trick, but Doc knew yeah, the answer I to my card I already know somehow. exactly which card she, that <clears throat> hers was, the one that she had picked, even though I wasn't the one doing the trick. How, uh, FYI, how did you know it wasn't planned that way? Really? Uh, really? Really? It wasn't. It okay, wasn't. I was about to say, what? Come but on. That would have been What's spectacular evil? if it was. <laughs> uh, that sounds a little mean, though. Yeah, that would be mean. It's just, just a little mean. <laughs> Anyways, vlog, because I know... It's fun to have us together and being able to shoot the breeze and just laugh at each other's little <laughs> isms. <laughs> I am glad that I was able to get Blissey to join us because yeah. mm -hmm. I've been saying for months that she needed a break. Yes. And, you know, and I'm, I'm really glad they came with us. Yeah. So it's the six of us and we're having a great time. I do and not regret it. There have been a, a bunch of people who kept saying that I needed a break, but I don't like taking breaks unless I feel like I can host, unless I feel like I can bring people along and make sure that they're having fun. Then I can actually enjoy myself. It's a bit weird that way. I can't, I can't really have fun when it's just me or even just two people. I gotta get more of a group going. Yeah. So, yeah. thank you for indulging. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure we'll be back in a few days and have lots more to talk about, but in the meantime, I am Dr. Wolf, and I'm Tarek Dragon. I'm Lightning Bliss. And we look forward to hearing from you.